All right. Where am I here? Yeah, let's just save and quit and go to the sanctuary then, because that's faster. It does kind of suck that you can't heal in this area efficiently. It used to be if you go up here, there would be two NPCs, two woodcutters, that would be cutting at that tree. But after you defeat a Gundam, they're not here anymore. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they're just kind of gone now. Yeah, there's something suspicious about this tree. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, fairies. Excellent. But more importantly, piece of heart. Now, spawn towards the business. It's honestly pretty amazing to me that um, a lot of the heart pieces I've discovered just from memory alone, even though it's been a very long time. we only know the location of one palace. So, may as well go and go there. I mean, why not? It's not like we can explore much. Nope. Don't get hung up on the tree, Link. That's not healthy. Well, you're still here. That's convenient. I might have to rely on that. We'll see. Yeah, for a slugger, these guys are quick on their feet at times. Ugh. Also, those bomb throws can be very dangerous. Also, these guys are more aggressive and they do ha double as much damage as they used to in the light world. Ugh. Yeah, enemies are all over the place in the dark world. This is a bit of a hedge maze here. You need to figure out the proper path through to get to where the palace is. It's not as cut and dry as before. Just to climb a little bit and get to the palace. No, 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 no. Not anymore. This is a bit of a maze here. I'm Kiki the Monkey. Will Ruby do anything? Here's Ruby 10 rubies. Nah, I don't think so. Huh. Where's it talk to you then? Bye bye. 
where the palace is, but we can't get in. Yeah. That monkey's there for a reason. Okay, good choice. It could be for a while. Okay. If you give me 100 rubies, I'll put the entrance for you, Kiki Ki. What do you do? Hmm, do it yourself then. Sadly, you don't have a choice in the matter. They get 100 rubies, Kiki Ki. Yeah, if you don't have 100 rubies by this point, you're gonna have to get them. Because you won't be able to progress without it. Thankfully, it is a one-time fee. Say hello to Pass of Darkness. Um, this place is huge, confusing, irritating, and everything in between. I remember when I was streaming this for my friend from before, we literally were here for an entire streaming session to get through this place. Because I didn't really remember the proper steps on how to do it, and I was lost for quite some time. Over the years, I've come to kind of memorize what you're supposed to do in here, but that doesn't make it simple, though. You definitely want Sword Beam for those things, because most physical attacks will not hurt them from the front, and they like to constantly charge at you. Not pleasant. Okay, first, let's go down here. There's a weak wall over here that we can just dash into. Also, here's these things again. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in Turtle Rock. I'm top of Death Mountain. So you were doing your best, but please hurry. Alright, so now it's Zelda helping us out with hands. So, I don't think this is anything important. Matter of fact, I'm almost guaranteed it isn't. Nope. This that just hurts, yeah. This is another dungeon in a randomized run that can really screw with you. If you don't have the bow and arrow, you can't actually hurt these things. These red ones? Yeah. The sword attacks don't hurt them at all, so... Don't. Really. Wrong button again. Yeah, these things are a little annoying since you have to... They move when you move, and you have to position them just right. Um, hmm. Now, these things are a pain since they will put up an electrical barrier every now and then. That if you hit them with your sword, then you'll hurt yourself. And if you hit the red ones, they split into smaller ones. You can still put an electrical barrier up. Got the map. Use it to see a secret position. That's a dungeon. Yeah, this is definitely a dungeon that can really come in handy. And of course, you're immune to boomerang. So, that's cute. <sighs> okay, so... Oh, well, I have the sword beam back at least. That makes this a little easier. Because if you hit them with the sword beam, the electrical barrier is not going to matter. Since it's a long range attack. But. But now. We have a couple more of these walls. Okay. What's over here? Oh, berries. I'm not going to complain about that. And over here we get 
A small key. Excellent. And that one brings enemies back for some reason. Now, at this point, we want to use the magic mirror to go back to the beginning. That there's nothing more that way. Yeah, this is when having access to do that is very helpful. Oh, we have fire spinner traps. You can't destroy those, but they can keep spinning fire on you. It's very cheap. Another small key. Excellent. Well, time to go the middle route then. Okay, so. Oh. 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 So if you push this over here, it will push that down to where you can pass. So at this point, you need to put them right here. Go over here. Get the big key. Yeah, it's important that you know where this is. Now, these things you actually cannot hurt. Their armored shell makes it impossible, so you're gonna, for now, you're just going to have to ignore them. Small key. down here just takes us back in this room which we do not need to be at anymore so let's go over here get another small key and now we need to go over here I'm making this look a lot easier than it actually is but it's only because I kind of know the most optimized way to go through this area Oh, you bitch. Oh, fuck. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to reset that. Well, this enemy's didn't come back. Well, at least I got my heart back.
Okay, so I'm gonna save state to see which path I should optimize first here. I believe this is going forward in the place though. Yeah, it is, okay. I know there's a trick to where I could hit that from a distance, but honestly, it's just, um, just as quickly just to go this way. Yeah, this is definitely where not having sword beam would suck. Just saying. Yeah, the ground gives way, and you will fall down there if you're not in a hurry. Yeah, the Dark World's full of shit like that. Yeah, if you come here without the lantern and a uh, randomized run, then this is definitely where you would not be able to see. Because it'd be completely pitch dark and you couldn't see anything. Yeah, you can't just always see like this. The lantern gives you partial light, even if you don't use it to light a uh, lamp. Got some bombs. Yeah, I have plenty of things. Over here, you need to know that you can... I keep pressing that button for whatever reason. Even though I know it's the other one. Got the magic hammer. Drive the wind stakes down into the ground. Use the pound other things, too. Yep, we have ourselves our first new sub-weapon in the dark world. The magic hammer. It is a very useful thing to have, trust me. It's a little awkward to hit with at times, but it does a lot of damage. Oh. And now we have something for these enemies. The Dungeon's Evil Master. If you go downstairs here, we have some anti fairies and a whole bunch of rubies to make up for what the monkey took. And we have yet another key and a single arrow. <laughs> well, that's certainly not as generous. Now, here's something interesting here. If you want to get close to these guys, use magic powder on them. Well, you didn't get to see it there, but... Let's try it with this one. Yes, you can turn an anti-fairy into a fairy. So yeah, that's pretty useful. Now over here we get Blue Ruby, chest. You can get that up your hair. However, this only really takes you back, so it's really never needed. Well, okay, it sort of is. Well, we can just magic mirror to get back now. But now that we have the magic hammer, we can actually beat this place once we go down that other route. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, knowing how to actually play through these dungeons actually makes them look a lot easier. But if you don't know the proper solution on how to get through the rooms, this can be quite a problem. out of it. And here, you have a statue with a single eye. You need to hit it in the eye with an arrow. And that opens up the way. Thankfully, there is not much left. Yeah, they like to just throw a whole bunch of these at you now. Yeah, wow, a whole bunch. Especially in dark rooms where I cannot freaking see. Oh my god, I can't believe if I did that without taking damage. But. you push this block, you can access this. And this takes you to where that treasure room was before, but now we're on the other side. Oh my god. Can you guys stop for two seconds? Jeez. Oh my god. So we're at the boss, probably saving that for next time.